And after 26 years, the Burswood Dome set to be demolished. From the studios of Seven Perth, Susanna Carr and Rick Arden. Thanks, Angela. The wrecking balls and bulldozers will move in to topple Burswood Dome within weeks after the government gave Crown Casino the go-ahead to demolish. The Dome has hosted some of the world's biggest acts over its 26-year life. Jeff Parry reports. Opening night, October 10th, 1988, was a bit of a disaster. $80 worth. We want our money back. Audio and crowd problems wrecking the night for hundreds. My wife actually went to that and she actually got a refund for it um, a couple of days later, so that was, um, the sound was not great. But they fixed the problems and there wouldn't be too many West Australians who haven't attended something at the Dome. And I can remember coming here and thoroughly enjoying a Simon and Garfunkel concert. Headline acts, Michael Jackson, Kiss, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, and then there were the monster trucks, Mega Bingo, and Boomerang competitions. But it's had its day. Is it as good as a new Perth Arena? Absolutely not. And you can never, never compete with that, so it makes sense to get rid of it. Crown wanted to demolish it several years ago, but kept it open until the arena was completed to host the Hopman Cup. But the opposition says the government's let Crown out of its obligation to compensate the public for the right to operate the casino as a monopoly. We have more and more benefits going to the monopoly operators of the casino and less and less returns to the people of Western Australia. The first step in the demolition will be to switch off the power to the fans that keep the roof inflated. It will take a day for the roof to collapse, then the wrecking balls will move in. The dome will be replaced by a thousand bay single level car. Seven. Seven years, the pulse of Perth.